Good morning, Britain. Police have defended their decision to pay a convicted child rapist £10,000 to help catch a Newcastle sex gang who abused girls as young as 14. North Korea says its plan to fire missiles towards the American mm. territory of Guam will be ready in days as the US threatens to destroy Kim Jong-un's regime if he continues to, to develop nuclear weapons. He was the second most powerful man on the planet who fought one of the tightest US presidential elections ever against George W. Bush back in 2000. Now Al Gore is fighting a different battle with Donald Trump to save the human race. Thursday, 10th of August, 2017, live from ITV Studios in London. This is Good Morning Britain with Ben Shepherd and Kate Galloway. So our main news this morning, Northumbria police have defended paying £10,000 to a convicted child rapist because they say he acted as an informant during a massive investigation into the sexual abuse of children. 17 men and one woman have now been convicted of drugging and abusing young girls in Newcastle after a series of criminal trials. Juliet Dunlop is at Northumbria Police Headquarters in Walls End for us this morning. Juliet, the Chief Constable insisted on our programme in the last half an hour that his tactics were justified. Yes, that's right, Ben.